check this out. We got the new Rolarlo CT8A 8 channel transmitter here. This just arrived on my doorstep about an hour ago. Figured I'd fire up the camera and we'll have a look at it together. Now, a lot of people are referring to this as a Rolarlo Dumbo RC collaboration. Well, it's not. Right there tells it all. Rolarlo and Hot RC co production. So, this is a Hot RC transmitter and we're just going to get right into it. Let's see what's on the box here. Trainer function, 2.4 inch color screen, losing control protection, four steering bearings, programming mixing, battery voltage feedback, built-in gyro, and three types of power methods. You can power this one up with double A's, a LiPo battery, or even an 18650 battery. On this side, we do have some parameters. The one thing I want to see is range and right here, ground distance around 300 meters. I believe online they're advertising 350 meters. We'll get out at some point here and do a proper range test with it. And yeah, let's open it up and let's see what's all inside here. All right, so first thing we have here, let me get rid of the box. I actually got a nice uh, user manual here. Nice large print, pictures. Code matching, programming, mixing, battery settings. Pretty cool, guys. That's a nice manual. So we'll put that aside. Looks like we got a cable here. This is probably for uh, updating the transmitter, I would think, the firmware. Type-C to Type-C. We got our receiver here. Eight-channel receiver. Dual antennas. Looks like we got a little voltage out little socket there for probably some lights or something or maybe a fan and input voltage on this one is four to nine volts it does have a built-in gyro so we'll put that aside and you guys won't be able to see it here but well at least i don't think you can i can see this transparent case here i can see it is labeled hot rc on the on the back side of the receiver on the inside there and then we have this little plug here Honestly, not sure what that's for, but it is included. So put that back here, yeah, and let's pull in the transmitter. All right, well, here it is, guys, the CT8A, decent-looking transmitter. First of all, what I really like is that carbon fiber uh, detail on the handle there. We've even got some red wall uh, sidewalls here, caliper rotor on the wheel, which has a foam grip. One hand is steering with the tab there. That's all nice. Aluminum lanyard connection point there. I like that. That is cool. Now... What I really like actually is the size of this. It's not small, but it's not big. It's like kind of in between, but it does have that oversized base so you can uh, stand it up. I really like that. Now, right here, we got our AA battery tray. You can plug in your balance lead from a two cell LiPo right there, as well as right here. That's where your 18650 battery would go in there to power it up. So I'm gonna throw some AA's in here got some right here so we'll power it up with double A's and then we're gonna fire this up and see uh, see what that color screen looks like there let's plug this in you can see 2s balance plug on the end of that plug it in there all right Ah, I don't really like that. That's pretty tight. It's got a nice spring in the trigger. Nice spring there. Now, looking at it, actually, that trigger looks like it's adjustable. Let me see. All right, let's see if this fits. Ah, it is. Check that out. It is adjustable. So maybe I'll just kind of fit it to my finger here. Snug it up, and then I'm good to go. Much better. I like that. That's actually pretty cool. First time I've seen an adjustable trigger on a transmitter. That is cool. So, let's see if we can get that off. And one thing to point out, they do in the manual, I'm just looking at it right now, they call that, uh, it is a trainer port for trainer mode, or it's actually a charging port. So you can probably charge up your, uh, your batteries with that. So if I threw in a LiPo, likely I'm able to charge it with that port there. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's fire it up, guys. We'll long press that power button. All right, that was a pretty cool startup screen there. We've got the color display, 
looking good, nice and bright. Now to get into the menu, I think we press the scroll button. Yep. And we've got five screens. We've got the model screen, channel, mix setup, radio, and system. So let's go back to number one here, model, and select. This is what I wanted to know. I wanted to know how many RCs we can store in here. And it looks like you can store up to eight RCs on this transmitter, the settings for them. That's pretty cool. I wasn't sure if it was able to support multiple uh, RCs or not. So I like that. You can name them, copy, reset, get out of there. Uh, we got phase, range. Okay, that's just the range of the, of the channels. Back out of there, fine tuning, remapping. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on any of this, guys. This is the first time I'm messing around with it. We've got our direction, so it's more so just to have a look here. We can turn channels on and off right there. Direction, so you can change your uh, steering direction, throttle direction. ESC setup. Oops, let me get back in there. Not a huge fan of having to press down on that scroll wheel, but I'll make do. So I've got the accelerator up to 100%. Can we change that? Oh yeah, you can change that. That's cool. Brakes off. Get out of there. Servos. 90 degree angle, so you can change your steering angle on this. Radio pairing, so I guess we're going to pair our, uh, well, let's just go in there. Yeah, so you would pair your uh, your receiver through here. That's not bad. Fail-safe, control, post-back training. Battery type, auto, uh, LCD brightness. It's currently at 70% and it's plenty bright. You can go change it up or down. Sleep brightness, sleep timer, shutdown, language. That's pretty cool. All right, let's joystick. All right, calibrations for your joystick. And then you can reset everything. Ah, pretty cool, guys. Well... I'm not going to go into any more detail here. I just wanted to have a look at it with you guys. We can back out of there. Not bad. This looks like a pretty cool transmitter. Right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap this one up now with the CT-8A. I just wanted to fire it up and have a quick look at it with you guys. And it looks decent. I like what I see. I'm looking forward to getting it back on the channel. We'll have it out for a range test. We may even go over some of the functions and features. But for right now, let's leave it at that. Like this video. Make sure you hit big thumbs up new the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you head out, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!